rest of my team. So I like to just like feel prepped for that. So this is me right now, probably just prepping for that meeting and getting ready. I'm probably reading emails. I'm probably answering slacks. I'm probably reading decks. I don't know. All sorts of things are probably things that I would do before my meeting in the morning. And I try to drink water. I noticed that in my bedroom, I had a, another thing, like a half drinking thing of Diet Coke that I never finished. So here's me pouring it out and wasting it. I know, not good of me. But at least I think I'm going to recycle. Actually, I know I'm going to recycle because I recycle. So here's me recycling it. But my recycling is full, so you can see me literally pushing down with all my might on the recycling to get it to go in. Here's me sitting back down to go do my work. So, and hopefully this isn't boring. Like working with me, quote unquote, while watching me just work on my computer. Um, I don't do this forever. Okay, and here I'm taking a little two minute break to go look outside. Um, I like to take lots of breaks, like I mentioned in my last video. I think it's good for your eyes. And I have this really pretty balcony, so oftentimes I'll just like walk over and just put my face literally up on the on the window and wish that I was outside. But then it wasn't me working. Working for the man and capitalism that I could be outside, you know, having fun and enjoying the good weather. But I'm making a quick little breakfast here. I eat lots of eggs. I usually eat egg whites, but this morning there were only two eggs left, so I didn't want to, like, waste the eggs, I guess, in a sense, by only eating the white parts. And you can see me adding literally so much hot sauce to my eggs. Like, seriously, Eric, like, is there enough hot sauce on there? So, that's the hot sauce that I eat. Um, hopefully I don't run out of that soon. I think that bottle's about to run out, which is kind of a shame. Um, but yeah, I really like eggs. I sometimes like to put cheese in them. I usually eat them scrambled. Sometimes I eat them on toast. But today it was just a couple eggs. And I guess, oh, I know I showed you this in my last video, but I've been really into incense lately. I remember my sister got me into them in high school and then I kind of forgot about them but recently I went with my friend Zainab in the West Village in Manhattan to this Tibetan store where they sold incense and I bought a bunch of incense and a new incense holder and incense are actually a lot cheaper than candles and I think they smell nicer too so I'm really into this beautiful incense holder and the incense it definitely gives a nice ambiance while I work away at my computer for hours and hours and hours and hours the incense is not long as long as I work <laughs> and here's just another shot of me I'm always like very fidgety so you can see that I'm like sitting down but my arm is over my leg I don't know I can never just sit still and oh I guess I'm on my second cup of water for the day good for me I'm happy about that because you just gotta drink more water oh my god and my friend Kathy FaceTime me really quick today at work so I told her I'd put her in the video I often take little breaks to FaceTime friends during work because I get lonely. Um, so I was happy that Kathy FaceTimed me to just say hi. And I think here I'm about to just lay in bed for a second. I, I guess I got a little sleepy. I didn't actually take a nap, but a lot of times I'll just lay down for like literally 15 seconds just to relax and decompress for a moment before heading back to the computer to do more work, which is something you can't do in the office that I'm happy that I can do while I work from home. And I take my glasses off because it's hard to lay down with my glasses. On my way back to the computer, I noticed that the shoe rack was all messed up and my roommate, Jivon, is coming back tomorrow. So I just wanted it to, neat, to, be, to be neat for him when he got back. So I just neatened it and here's my thumbs up after I just cleaned the shoe rack. And like I mentioned in my last video, I like to keep like a Netflix show up or a YouTube um, video up while I work just to have something in the background while I concentrate. It actually helps me concentrate. And then after doing a little bit more work, I went and I cleaned my dishes in the sink. Again, I'm not like so overly neat, but I, one of my biggest pet peeves is when there's tons of dishes in the sink. So I don't like to let my dishes sit in there for longer than like 45 minutes. And then it starts to pester me that they're just sitting in there. So I clean the dishes all the time. Sometimes I clean my roommate's dishes, sometimes he cleans mine. We're pretty good about taking turns doing stuff like that. We don't really argue in general, but especially about cleaning because I think we're both really good sports and are generally pretty neat and don't mind cleaning. Like, how long did I put in this video of me cleaning the dishes? Awesome. After I clean the dishes, 
dishes. I went to get a lunch at this point. It's probably like 12.30 or 1. And that's when I start to get hungry after breakfast. So I actually cooked this meal yesterday and had a lot of leftovers. It's a Thai red curry with tofu and red bell pepper and green beans and rice. Um, so it was really delicious. It's so wild. It was really hard for me to get the food into the bowl while like videotaping it. So you can really watch me struggle here. Like I fully can't do it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no. <laughs> into the microwave we go. And my mom actually everything from my kitchen my mom was able to get for me for free. I know I mentioned that in my apartment door video, but my mom is part of a Facebook group page for my hometown where all of the like moms and dads of the town post all the extra things that they have and then people can pick them up. So my mom has been able to get like all of my silverware, all of my plates, my bowls, the microwave, all the pots and pans. The pots and pans for free from that website, which is truly incredible. She saved me so much money. And this is the finished product and what it looks like. Here's me just eating my lunch while I work. I don't always work and eat at the same time, but if I'm being honest, I probably work through lunch maybe 80% of the time. So what else could you really expect from capitalism and my corporate job than having to work through lunch and never take my eyes off that screen while I eat? Um, but I tried to take eat off while not working at least some of the time. And I encourage everyone on my team to never work while they eat. And I turned the light on because it was getting kind of dark in my apartment. And here's me doing another little workout. Um, and this helps me kind of just get through the day to like do a little workout. It gets me more energized and it's a nice, a nice break from work. It's really nothing too extensive or anything that takes me too long. Maybe like literally 10 minutes. But I noticed that it really helps me feel energized and makes me be able to focus more throughout the end of my day. Here you can see me just working again. I put on a sweatshirt because it got kind of cold in my apartment. Me and my roommate are trying to make our gas bill go down, so we try not to keep the heat above 69. I know, 69. Oh, it's too funny, but we try to keep it at 69, so I get kind of cold and I put on a sweatshirt and at this point during the day, I'm like really into it, focused with the clients. So I had to take a little rest on the couch. I just, again, I never really nap during work, but I'll like close my eyes and just lay down and put my head on a pillow because that's like enough to get me through as a break. And here's just me again, looking off into the distance, giving my eyes a break from working. Um, I feel so blessed to have that view. And me at the end of the day, closing my laptop, I'm not actually done working yet, I still have to work, but I like to just clean up everything in the dining room where I work and move to my bed eventually when I get really over sitting at that table and my butt starts to hurt on the wooden chair, so I prefer to lay down in a bed eventually. So this is me just cleaning up the table because I hate to keep everything out overnight, I never do that. And then once I'm done cleaning up, I hop into my bed to finish up the rest of day of the work day and I generally so technically I'm done working at 6 p.m. but it's more like 6 30 or 7 now that I'm a manager and I'm technically supposed to be on the clock all day long in case a client were to answer or call me or email me so I have to be ready for that at any given moment I honestly work a ton of hours and I'm a really hard worker my dream one day is to be able to work less people are always like what's your dream job and my dream job is the one where I'm not working literally all the time, um, and, you know, one day that'll be my future once I've paid off my student loans, who knows, but I am just working till the end of the day. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in queer content, socialist content, um, leftist content. Um, I love making ASMR, and I love making people relax, and I post two days a week, at least, generally on Tuesdays and Saturdays, sometimes Thursdays.